What does the wudu of Islam look like? You have the obligatory wudu, your no frills version of wudu, your basic wudu. The fundamental components are mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5. What are they? Very simple. إِذَا قُمْتُمْ إِلَى الصَّلَاءِ When you get up to pray, فَغْسِلُوا وُجُوهَكُمْ Wash your faces. وَأَيْدِيَكُمْ إِلَى الْمَرَافِقِ In your arms until your elbows. وَامْسَحُوا بِرُوسِكُمْ And wipe your heads. وَأَرْجُلَكُمْ إِلَى الْكَعْبَيْنِ And wash your feet until the ankles. That's your standard wudu. And then you take out your siwak. A sunnah that beginning with myself and a lot of us are falling short towards the stick which the Prophet ﷺ would use to brush his mouth, brush his teeth. Not just before salah, but before wudu. And so the mouth should be pure. So you intend the wudu, number one. Number two, you brush your teeth with the siwak if you can, number two. Number three, you say bismillah in the name of Allah. If you are in the bathroom, don't say it verbally, put it, say it into your heart or say it before you come into the bathroom. Bismillah. And then you wash your hands three times, up and to, up to and including your wrists. And then you will wash your uh, mouth and your nose. With one handful, you bring the water into your mouth and up into your nose and you sniff it until it reaches the upper part of your nose if you can. And then after you finish that, you will wash your face three times. What are the parameters of the face that need to be included in water? Right? So that's, it starts from here and then it drops all the way to the bottom of your chin, bottom of your jaw, including the recesses of your eyes. Then you need to wash your arms, your right arm first. And here is the thing, you need to begin from the fingertip of your arm and bring it down to your elbow and including your elbow. This is a common mistake a lot of people make in wudu. And then number three, and this part here, their palm is, is dry. This is a huge error. And then with fresh water, you will put your fingers together and you will start في مقدم الرأس عند مقدم الرأس the beginning of this part of your head and you will wipe your hair back until you get to the nape of your neck and then you would bring it forward again. And then you will put your index fingers into your ears and you will wash them and using your thumb you will rub the outside part of your ears to clean that as well. And then you will wash your feet three times each beginning with the right up to and including your ankles. وَيْلٌ لِلْأَقَابِ مِنَ النَّارِ Prophet وسلم said, Woe to the ankles from the hellfire. Woe to the ankles from the hellfire. And he said this when he saw some of the companions washing their feet, but they had not submerged their foot with water. I.e., there were parts of their feet that were left dry. He said, Woe to the ankles from the hellfire. And your toes should be included in the washing there as well. Then you've completed your wudu, and here you are to say a dua. That the Prophet ﷺ said, After the wudu, I testify that there is no God but Allah. Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. ﷺ. The eight gates of paradise will open up for him on the day of judgment, and he will be given permission to enter through any one of them he wishes. Remember this dua I shared with you. Shahada, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Don't rush to come out of your uh, wudu and to carry out a no-frills version, a takeaway type of wudu. No, take your time. Don't waste water. 